Sides, welcome to or welcome back to my video. In today's video, I am shooting this for the second time today. Yeah, so originally I shot this makeup look and using new products and a new foundation on my new camera. However, the lens that came with this that camera is just not sharp at all. Like it I just need a new lens for it so I'm gonna have to like go buy a new lens in the meantime we are back using Betty the O camera which Betty gives me trouble too so I just can't win for losing anyway <laughs> oh my god anyway so if you want to see how I got this look and the new products that I am about to show you, then keep on watching. Let's get into it. Okay, y'all. So L'Oreal True Match had this drugstore foundation and their darkest shade was C10. This is C10. And they went from 33 shades to now 45 shades. And I don't think they promoted it very well because not too many people knew about it or I didn't see too many reviews on it. I didn't see much on that. So in my drugstore at Walmart, their darkest shade they have was C11. So here's C11, here's the original C10. Here's one of the extended shades, C11. See that? But that's not all. C11 is not the darkest shade. I did find that C12 is the darkest shade. However, I did not see it in stores, but I did see it online. So if you are a tad bit darker than me, then C12 could probably be your shade. So I'm just gonna go ahead and test out these two and see which one works for me. And I'll go ahead and use that and I will be giving you my thoughts on the new Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. That's what this looks like. And I will also be giving you my thoughts on the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless. Is that a finishing powder? No, this is a finishing powder. Matte Poreless, what is this? It's a powder, basically. So I'll be giving you my thoughts on these products right here plus a little dramatic look so let's get right into it let's get into it i'm gonna have to take all this makeup off just to film this again y'all like comment and share this video because i've been having trouble since 10 a.m with this video and it is almost five o'clock right now. Yeah, I was editing the other one when I decided it's just too blurry. It goes in and out of focus. When it does focus, it's bomb. But when it goes out of focus, it stays out of focus for a long time. So that's why I switched back to using Gertrude here, the old camera. I don't know what I called it earlier. I think I said Betty, it's Gertrude now. Let's get into it. All right, y'all, I am back and one eye is already done, obviously. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Now, these two shades are what I'm about to swatch and then I'll pick which one closely matches my skin the most, which I think they can both be my shades. One just happens to match my chest and the other matches my face and neck. Since my chest is not visible today, we are going to go ahead and just match my face and neck. So yeah, we're just going to go with the true color of my face, which is probably going to be this one, but I'll still swatch them both for you because <laughs> I'm thoughtful. Anyway, um... So yeah, let's just go ahead. I just washed my face off, so it's feeling a bit dry. We are going to go ahead and moisturize it. I usually always, if I'm gonna prime, I put on primer and then moisturizer, but my face is super dry right now, so I'm going to put on moisturizer 
first. I know I'm backwards, but oh, this smells so good. What is it? It's um, Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. This is Nude Glow, and I got it from Sephora. There it is. I got it from Sephora with my beauty points because you know I'd be spending money in there. So it was a while ago. Now I'm saving up to 500. What happens after 500 points? Do y'all know? Because they be, I'd be going in there and they'd be like, do you want to save your points and you know hit the big 500 or you want to get something? I'm like, I'll save. I don't even know what I'm saving for. Somebody let me know. What are we saving for in Sephora? What's the 500? Okay. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these. This is C10 Espresso, like I said. This was their darkest shade before they extended their line. And they actually extended this foundation line from 33 shades to now 45 shades. C12 being the darkest. So this is C10 Espresso and there it is. So that's C10, which matches me really well. There is C11, which is coffee. So they're very, very close in shades. Like I said, this one Matt, is my exact chest shade. My chest is like a shade lighter than my face and my neck. And then this further one, C11, is the shade, exact shade of my face and my neck. So we are going to go with the exact shade of my face and my neck because my chest is not visible because I'm wearing this shirt. So I don't know how the lighting is. I have my window open and then I have like some lights pointing at me as well. So yeah. So I will just be concealing my lids with the regular Shregular LA Girl Pro Conceal in Dark Cocoa. We might look a little crazy right now, but it will all turn out okay. I promise. Don't mind my pimple right there. It's a stress pimple. Okay, so I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder or Finishing Powder. And I am going to just dip that in there. That's what it looks like. And I'm going to set that crease. So I am going into my Huda Beauty palette and I'm gonna take this red one called Saffron and we are going to use that as the transition color. And first impression, this L'Oreal foundation feels really lightweight. It doesn't feel like I have anything on my skin and my skin still comes through. Cause like they said, it's light to medium coverage. It's not full coverage. So your skin will still come through, which I do like. It's like a dewy look. You know the drill, do not worry about the fallout. We will clean that up later with concealer. So I'm gonna go into my Fenty Beauty palette, the old one, the Galaxy palette, and go to this shade, which I believe is Midnight Bolt. Yeah, Midnight Bolt. 
and we are going to put that underneath the transition shade. Now that we've given that some definition, we are going to go into that same palette, get that same color, midnight bolt, and with a flat brush, just go in there with this flat brush and put it onto the lid. But I hate flat brushes too, so let's go ahead and use the finger. Bring it up to the brow bone. And clean out the edges. I am just going to use this glitter liner. Glitter liner. Glitter liner, it looks white, but it's actually clear. I wish it was white though, but it's not. So we are going to cut our crease with that. And when we cut our crease, we still want the blue to show up top. So now that this one's dry, we are going to go back into the Fenty Galaxy palette. We're gonna take this color I believe this is Mars on Fire, right? Yeah, Mars on Fire with our finger. You're going to place that just in the middle. We're gonna take this red liner. We're gonna color in where we just put Mars on Fire. I need to do a face mask. I think I'll do one after this. We are going to go back into this Fenty palette and go back into this blue. We are going to smoke it out under the waterline. My black liner and I'm going to line the waterline. Okay, so I'm just going to use the Maybelline Fit Me powder in Java to set under my eyes. That's what this looks like, by the way. not going to contour so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this Maybelline Fit Me Loose setting powder that I showed you earlier and I'm just going to cut right here right under my chin chin right under my cheek I let it sit there long enough. I'm just going to go ahead and brush that off. And you see, I didn't even contour, but it still gives me like that sharp line like I did. So that's what I like that powder for. I am going to use the Fenty Beauty Metal Moon to highlight. And I'm just gonna use my finger real fast. I'm going to use Sleek Cosmetics Blush and Pomegranate. Bring some color back to my face. I love putting this blush over Fenty's Metal Moon. Okay, so I'm just going to put on this lipstick to finish the look. And this is Tender Heart from, I don't know. 
just gonna lightly place this nude and it's called tender heart not sure from who i'll have it in the description all right y'all well this is it for this video so in conclusion with these l'oreal true match extended shades i do like that they are lightweight and they don't feel like i have all this foundation on my skin so i like that it is light to medium coverage like i said so if you don't mind your skin kind of showing through then this would be a good match for you it's different like i'm not used to anything that's not matte but it's different i like it so i'll definitely be wearing this again and now for the maybelline fit me powder in java i have the liquid form and i really like it that's what i use to set my under eyes and my concealer so it's very natural very lightweight we'll be using it again and for the fit me loose finishing powder in my opinion when i use it under my eyes it is too orange so i use it just to help give me that contoured look right here like i did not contour at all i just used this powder to kind of cut along this line and that's it like that's what i'll be using that for but as far as using it under my eyes or to set my concealer no <laughs> that is a no-go it is too orange for all of that but to kind of just help my contour i'll use it for that so yeah that's it for this video so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you can take something away from it if you did don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i will see y'all in my next video bye y'all tell your mama your daddy your sisters your pappy that i'm uploading and me and my friend Gouye, she's also another Sunnis YouTuber, did a collab video and it is on her channel. It's a girl chat and it's so transparent. Go check it out. I will leave the link in the description and in the cards. And then her and I will also have a video on my channel this Friday or Saturday. But it will definitely be on my channel this weekend. But go ahead and go check out the girl chat that she and I did. It's on her channel. Link in the description. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.